Three, two, one. Stress is here. No, 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 no. The natural container water boiling back. Oh, yeah. Okay, that does the job. The moment of truth, guys. Why don't you move your bench a little bit closer? This is the second of five battles. And today we're battling for cover items. Bunch of really messed up ones in there. At the end of this video, the winner who boils the water the quickest in a natural container will choose a cover item for himself and also assign one to the loser. It's very important to win those battles to score some good survival items. Because that's all we got for the real challenge coming up. At least the rain might help getting the midges away. With just the items won in this battle, we start on a dune for an island. From there, we individually have to make it to the extraction point within three days. Hey, I'm stuck! 50 kilometers away up the mountain. Who turns out to be the best survivalist? Stay tuned! Water boiling uh, natural container challenge. Yes, after the last challenge, some warming up struggles, but this time I'm, uh, I'm pumping it. Okay, so we both have equal amounts of water. It's 1.1 liters. Yes, that has to be boiled. Yeah, and we have to make a container with natural materials. We have a fire each, and we have three tools each. Yes, axe, pushcart knife, and the folding saw. Yeah, nice one. And yeah, so free for all. The winner is the one who has its water boiled drinkable. and drinkable and clean-ish. The first. Yeah, first of all, I'm gonna move my, my bench. Well, my bench is perfectly where it is now. Okay, so... Um, why don't you move your bench a little bit closer? This bench is properly designed to be here at the perfect place. Okay, okay. Right. Well, if you say so. Let's start the challenge, man. Three, two, one. Stress is here. No, 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 no. Firewood first. No, 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 no. Get some stones in. More firewood. Oh, he got his stones already. Where do you get them from? Firewood first, then the stones. Not stones and then firewood. Alright, so... Sorry for the hair, bad hair, but... Uh, using my hat... To get some stones. And I'm taking fairly small ones, because they heat up quicker. And... I'm not sure what size my container is going to be. The smaller, the more versatile in this case. Oh, and this guy is smart. Silky broken. Uh. Don't saw with a silky. With too much stress. You're breaking. Or don't give one to you. Now let's get some materials. Bring my axe. I'm gonna need it. In my mind, there's two things I can do. One is carving out a bowl. As we've seen on our duo survival a couple, couple years ago. It takes a lot of carving. The other option is find a really kind of thick tree and peel the bark off it. It kind of means you're killing the tree because you're taking it all the way around. So it's fine on a tree that can have it. Like here where there's a branch 
falling over sideways. I think it's too lumpy as well. Up for gathering materials as well. I want this bar. Yes, if you can find it very close to camp, why not, huh? This is how the Irish do their fencing, look. Completely mangle it up with barbed wire, but it's still too healthy to take. What a Jäger. Jäger uh, was attacking a wasp earlier, he got stung in his mouth, he got one side of his mouth swollen. Poor guy. No good, no good. Oh, shit. That was a beat. Oh no, Jaeger, you okay? It was a a wasp nest or a bee's nest. I think they are wasps. So we better get the hell out of here. Come on, Jaeger, come. Yep. It got lodged up here by the river. You can see a meter extra water level. It's serious sometimes here in the winter. Wow, it's super brittle too. I need to fold it. So I need some flex. There's more sycamore here. So if I take one fork, it's not too bad. Like the, the tree will stay going. You should do this very gently. Not rip the bark like. Very gentle work. Ooh, is that the stones? My goodness. I'm ripping it there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the fire is hot. I'd want some more stones in there. Great idea using your hand, dude. Whew. Right, I'm gonna take this big massive guy. It's like a multiple shoot tree. And I'm taking the biggest one, but it won't kill the tree, it'll continue. It's also sycamore, it's fairly invasive. So, um, I'll do the other trees a favor by, by pruning it back, I suppose. Uh, I can come back later and uh, take the rest for firewood as well, so it's not, it's not wasted. Oh, stones exploding guys stones exploding that happens when they're wet sometimes right. I don't know about this bark now will it will it be waterproof enough you know there are all rips in it but it, I don't think it's going through but it might be very tiny hole somewhere. Dylan is away for a long time, guys. What will he be up to? Will he be thriving? Or will he be struggling? You're gonna find out right now. Right, so got my bark pieces. Now I'm gonna need some pine pitch and then seal the whole thing up. And then I'll see you back at camp, guys. It's taking me a long time to get this bark off. Man, oh man. It is important to have a piece without any knots. I hear someone cutting in the distance. He must be busy doing whatever. 
we almost there now. Curious, this is at camp all the time. That's my log, man. Your log? Yeah, I need that. For what? For my chair. Really? Yeah. You could you mind about having it a little bit less bark? <laughs> ah, guess I have no choice. I'm sorry, buddy, not anymore. Yeah, I was I was going to the forest and then it, it reminded me that I might not have to look that far. Na 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 na. More of my stuff. Yeah, oh no, it isn't. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just taking this all the way Make two of them, it takes way too long. Got myself a slab of what is it? Birch wood. I'm gonna melt my pitch and carve these into the sides for my basket. They're absolutely full of juice. Oh. I think that container is done, guys. Oh, shit. the bark is ripping in all the way here. Okay, here's the moment of truth, guys. The moment of truth. Filling this thing up. It's already covered with water. Yeah, but it's leaking, man. It's leaking a lot, like. Well, you're doing way better than I am. Yeah, we got some struggles here. Man, oh man. Okay, that does the job. Moss? Moss? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Never been done before. Wow. Ooh, that water is hot. That seems so interesting, guys. Wow. Ow. Mm. 
Ow, ow. We call that good. Oh no, we need a lot of those. <laughs> and the question is how long will this thing last now? Okay, quickly get more water. So I tried dripping the the stuff in there. It's not working because there isn't enough and if you put flames on it, it just burns it rather than you know, it's gone then after a while rather than you using it. So what I'm trying now is I just scraped it off and now I'm, I'm sort of melting it with a hot rock and it's definitely working. Fun. No, I'm failing. I'm failing here, guys. Man, if I look at that, I think maybe new bushcraft uh, methods are, are made uh, into history, like very new, effective ways. I know, but sure, if it would have worked, someone would have made a film about it already. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do see the potential in it, but I'm wondering what you want to do. Like, no, bark? I'm melting the um, the resin, the pitch. Pine oh, pitch. wow. And I'm using the, um, the, the moss as a filler. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no, I'm leaking water. <laughs> oh, look at that steam in the Guys, look. Hey, you're completely in my view. Where? Yeah, behind you. <laughs> yeah, if I take it, give it much longer, then I'm vaporizing everything. I'm really losing here. I'm not happy. A few final words, is it? <laughs> well, my pot is not half full. To make him the most smoothy. Smoothy. Since when do you speak German, man? Since I have German friends. Since I've been. Oh, German girlfriend, right? No, 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 no. I remember in last video you told me oh, he has no girlfriend. that now oh <laughs> what are you doing man wow he got himself something last resort I got this thing get a few chunks out of it and and, and you know get something going at least you know this is where I chop my leg off wow you're using your bottle I can win even for my cheater, huh? Anyway, it's completely useless. There's a big <laughs> hole here. Ow. You know, it was meant to be more like this. Mm -hmm. And you could hold some, but there's a big hole on the bottom of that. Yeah, I think I call myself defeated, guys. <laughs> Oh, oh, you're spinning some. There we have it. I did say that's enough. I'm glad I won this because 
You'll be stressing if you uh, lose two times in a row, man. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Congratulations. You deserve it. Obvious victory here. Less is more, man. Less is more. I went for the big piece of bark. So then I was going to put sides on it, you know? And then with glue. And it is really sticky, you know? And the moss, it, it did work, but you need so much of the pitch then. You're really talking about at least like two cupfuls, mm -hmm. say. You would rather have won the cutting tool round or the cover round? Oh, this was the cover round, yes. right? Oh, God. I wasn't <laughs> sure. I, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. The cover and sleeping equipment uh, items. Yes, yeah, so the winner of this challenge, which is Julius, can decide one item for me to bring to our uh, big adventure and an item for himself as well. Uh -huh. And there is a vast variety of stuff there. Wool blankets, roller bin liners, Mercy Space blanket, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Biffy bag, hammock, tarp without without ridge line, right? Yeah, yeah. Without any line actually. Yeah. Uh, sleeping bag, poncho, air mattress, thermarest. And what is this, Dylan? That is a man, an, oh man. An Australian swag. <laughs> can you? How'd you be? Can you say again? <laughs> How'd you be, mate? <laughs> so it's basically a two-man luxury Biffy tent. And Julius is weak, so that's why this looks like this. <laughs> well, who has a tent of 11, 12 kilos, man? That's madness. Durability. Durability. <laughs> Durability. You're going to carry this on the other trip to the... Uh, to it's the, up to you, because you have north? to choose. It is heavy, but at the same time, you know... <laughs> I would say first, first item to, for me, huh? Well, it depends, of course, a lot what the weather will be like, but we don't know, huh? No. Yeah, then uh, you have to have something multifunctional. Uh, let me see what we have here. You have a sleeping bag. Sure, you're warm, but if it rains, you're screwed. Tarp would be good if you had some paracord with it. You don't. This is actually, I think this is quite a good item. The wool blanket, of it's, course, It's man. quite multifunctional. You know, you have some rain protection and it's warm like. No, definitely, man. Wool is superior material. But I have already made a decision, Dylan. Wow. Yes. That was so quick. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I really did. Yeah. It's yes. so hard to choose. It's, it's a multifunctional item and it's very lightweight to carry. I had my book saw I have already, so that's a hustle to carry. So I go for something portable. Okay. Which is multifunctional. And that is the one man emergency tarp. Yeah, and the heavy duty one. You can uh, put rope on this. It's a uh, blanket like, it isolates you a little bit. And it's a tarp for one person. So I will have to do with that. Yeah, yeah, lightweight, lightweight. I like it, nice one. Okay, hey. then here's the moment. Oh, the, <laughs> oh, the nerves, the nerves. <laughs> Bin liners, you see, you had already used them in the dollar store challenge. And I seen you, you done a great job with them. So we've seen that, we're not going to take it. Otherwise, it would be a fun item to give someone. Yeah, but they're good, man. If, it, if it's rainy, you can also keep all your stuff uh, dry. Very versatile. Yes. Very versatile. You would be very happy with this, maybe. I guess So I don't get it. Probably not, probably not. A mattress, I think that's the worst of choices. Because it's not really worth anything, right? It's easy to make a mattress in the wild, like from some moss. Yeah, I'm going to choose two items. And one is the poncho. Let me bring up that. <laughs> You're not giving me the fucking no, 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 no. no. It's, it's mad. <laughs> mad. Yes. It's for mad people. <laughs> but it's not us. <laughs> Have I uh, insulted Australians? No, no. But sure, like we said, it's not for it's not for hiking. Mini, 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 mo. Mini, mini, mo. Great. <laughs> this is the item Dylan is gonna take. The poncho, man. <laughs> I really don't mind. It's not ideal, but none of them are really ideal. That space blanket. I have this one over that. Really? Yeah. Then I, you're saying I give you a good item. I don't mind, but I think with all items it depends on how you play. I was thinking we're gonna have to do a bit of swimming for the challenge. So the mattress could be good. <laughs> oh, really? Awesome. <laughs> then we're up for the third battle already. Pottery coming up. 
<laughs> Are you happy? No, because it's really like the cheap military replica. Smooth fix. Next up on Smooth Fix Friday. Off we go. The pottery battle. Oh, man. Midges here are terrible. And today we're battling for combustion devices. Finding clay, making pot. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's gonna be a good one. Please let us know what you think. You know, maybe some doom scenarios or something would be funny. You know, <laughs> with, with one of the items or, or whatever. 